The Democratic National Convention enters its second day. Democrats formally nominated Vice President Kamala Harris in a virtual roll call earlier this month. Caroline Cummings is in Chicago with the latest on the convention. People, we are moving forward. Vice President Kamala Harris made a surprise appearance at day one of the Democratic National Convention to express her gratitude to President Biden. Joe, thank you for your historic leadership, for your lifetime of service to our nation. The president was greeted with an extended standing ovation when he took the stage before explaining his reason for stepping aside. I love the job, but I love my country more. Addressing the convention that until very recently was planned for him, President Biden enthusiastically threw his support behind his number two. Selecting Kamala was the very first decision I made before I became, when I became our nominee. And it was the best decision I made my whole career. There were also speeches from union leaders, elected officials, and the party's 2016 nominee, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who reminded the crowd Harris has the potential to become the nation's first woman president. This is when we break through. Outside of the convention center, Chicago police made a handful of arrests after people protesting the war in Gaza breached a security perimeter. Last night's program ran way behind schedule, something organizers will look to tighten up with former President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle Obama speaking tonight. I was in tears over Hillary Clinton. I'm probably going to be in tears over hearing Obama. Vice President Harris and Governor Tim Walz are scheduled to campaign in Milwaukee tonight in the spot where Republicans held their convention last month. The rally will be beamed into the DNC. Caroline Cummings, CBS News, Chicago.